It's time to keep you abreast with governance from the presidency. President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday in Washington, USA, restated the determination of the Nigerian government towards achieving the vision of 30 gigawatts of energy by year 2030. The president will said this during the discussion panel on just energy transition at the US Africa Leaders Summit. Also, use the opportunity to outline the comprehensive energy transition plan unfolded by his administration in response to the issues associated with climate change. The president stressed that the Nigerian government has embarked on several reforms, one of the best in Africa on mini-grid regulations, as well as integration of renewable energy into the national grid. President Mohamed Buhari says he has done his best for Nigeria. The president made this assertion in Washington, USA, while meeting Al Mafoud bin Bayer, Secretary General of the Abu Dhabi Forum and Bob Roberts is deputy. President Buhari was said solving the problems of 13 youths is a priority of the government as a country with a better future, noted the need to raise generations of youths devoid of religious extremism and bigotry. It's an important moment for the president coming at a time when two things are happening simultaneously. One is that there is a downward uh, trend in, in terrorism, in banditry, in kidnapping, farmer had a clashes in our country, things are coming down. And also generally, you know, there is increasing activity by the government of Nigeria uh, to stabilize the entire West African region. That all of these things that are going on, the efforts to stabilize the country and also, you know, create peace in neighboring countries, it is for the future of our young people. President Muhammad Buhari has approved the immediate disbursement of $315 million cabotage vessel financing fund, CVFF, to indigenous ship owners after 17 years waiting. The president had in 2019 and 2021 approved and directed the disbursement of the CVFF through the former Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, but for administrative purposes, it was delayed. I will not end this speech without bringing further good tidings to the shipping community in Nigeria. I have just been informed that the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, has approved my request for the disbursement the capital, a capital vessel financing fund. It is my belief that finally we are going to break the 17 year old gains that has hindered the growth and expansion of our domestic fleet. And finally, from the presidency, President Muhammad Buhari recently urged members of the All Progressive Congress APC to unite and cooperate with one another as a prerequisite for victory in the upcoming election. The president spoke when he received the governorship candidate of the APC in Katsina State, Dr. Diko Rada, and his running mate, Farouk Lawal Job, at his residence in Daura. President Buhari said the party leaders need to sit together, avoid divisions, and ensure unity to avoid defeat at the general elections. <laughs> 